We're told that a car rolls into the lake into a lake. We want to figure out how much of the car is below water when there's no water in the passenger compartment and how much water in the compartment will sink the car. So here I have a little picture drawn of the car and this is a case where it's going to be sunk where we have water in the passenger compartment. But we're going to calculate first how much of the car will be underwater when there's no water in the passenger compartment. So we have the weight of the car and that has to be equal to the buoyancy force. So that's the density of water times the volume submerged times gravity. And so we get our volume submerged is the mass of the car divided by the density of water. We're given that the mass of the car is 1800 kilograms and the density of water is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter so we simply get 1.8 cubic meters of the car is submerged now we want to figure out how much water can we put in the passenger compartment that will cause the car to sink we have the weight of the car plus the weight of the water in the passenger compartment. And that must be the buoyancy force, which is now density of water times the total volume of the car, the passenger compartment plus the front plus the back times G. And we can cancel out a G. And if we divide through by the density of water, we see that the volume of water is simply the volume of the passenger compartment plus the volume of the front plus the volume of the back of the car. So the total volume of the car minus the mass of the car divided by the density of water. Plugging all our numbers in, this is 6.55 meters cubed. This is simply the volume that was initially submerged. And so that's minus 1.8 cubic meters. And so we have 4.75 cubic meters of water in the passenger compartment. So that it's, it's very close to being full.